The six plop hits went into a huddle, lunging at me now and then, muttering to one another in a mysterious language. Meanwhile, I was growing angry. How dare this outer space organism come to my planet, and how dare they try to mess with me? Melvin Young. Soon my anger overcame my fear. I yelled at the weird organisms, not caring what they thought. Hey, what are you blockheads talking about? They turned to me, their faces crumpling into hideous shapes as they spoke. We do not trust you, Earthling, said one of them. We do not trust any human, said another. So you are going to be punished forever," said a third. "How?" I yelled defiantly. One of the blobheads rocked its way closer. "You are going to turn into a cloud. You will hover in the sky forever, looking down at your friends. You will be able to see them. You will be able to hear them, but you will never be able to talk to them." They will not even know you are in the cloud. They will. That would be your fate. It was the sickest thing I have ever heard. I did not want to become a dumb cloud and float in the sky all day. You cannot do that! I exploded. Do you think you can stop us? Mocked one of the blockheads. I will find a way to escape. I warned them. You think you are so smart, don't you? You think you've got a superior intelligence. Well, I'll show you. Some of the blobheads let out a shrill laugh, but the others shot me looks of pure hatred. He is so bothersome," said one. "He is full of hot air like all the other humans. Let him become a cloud." Let the boy drift in the sky until the end of time. I was about to shout at the blobheads and tell them just what I thought of them, but when I opened my mouth, oh no!